Hey, what is up everybody? This is Carl with Dumb Dad's Tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you guys are well. Uh, tonight, I am bringing you a video. Um, not too long ago, I did a video on the Game Pass, Xbox Game Pass subscription service. And if it's worth it, um, my ideas of it and everything. So tonight, I am logging on the PS4 here. And I'm going to show you guys... Uh, PlayStation subscription service which is called PlayStation Now. So any of you guys got a PlayStation or any of your parents with kids that like playing uh, PlayStation PS4, um, they have a subscription service also which is uh, I guess the best way to describe it would be it's like Netflix for video games. Um, I'll try to not make this video as long the Xbox One kind of branched off but you know what I'm new to this channel this is like amazing and fun to me and this is what it's all about you know this is what I enjoy doing and I want this channel to grow so sometimes I get excited and I ramble and all of a sudden I'm making like a 40 minute long video so we'll try not to make that one this long but speaking of passion and doing cool things um if you guys are watching right now I just appreciate it appreciate it appreciate it if you guys would like subscribe if you haven't um, definitely subscribe that's what's going to help me grow my channel and if you think that's awesome and you think the videos are cool or you want to help this channel grow and get better um, I would appreciate it if you guys shared with some other gaming friends too you know get them on board all right um, with that being said further ado let's go into the PlayStation now all right so once you sign up for this uh, let's start out with uh, price um, I believe right now it is the same as the Xbox Game Pass if you pay monthly, which is $9.99. Um, Game Pass does have a plan, though, with Microsoft where for $14.99 you get the Ultimate, which is, you know, the subscription service um, plus the Xbox Live Gold and a few other things. Um, so I think they have just in my opinion a little bit better of a deal i do not now don't quote me on this because i may be wrong but i don't believe i have not seen sony have such a thing um if you want to have both with sony you still have to pay for both separately you still have to buy the playstation plus which is the equivalent of xbox live gold you know, it still comes with free games you can download every month and uh and then you have to play uh pay for the playstation now also so, all right, so the PlayStation 1, like I said, I will not go, I know I went a little bit more in depth and scrolled through the list. Um, one thing I will say as far as quantity of games, um, PlayStation has a lot more, which is why I won't go through the list like I did with the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can go to a category. I think if we browse, it will separate everything into categories. Um, so you got the PlayStation Now collections, um, you can do genres, themes, look and feel, game mechanics, uh, and then here most of the, you got downloadable ones. So, uh, I'll touch base on that. Let me get a little bit further in and I'll touch base on the downloadable. Um, that's one of the drawbacks, I think, of the PlayStation service over the Xbox. Um, you got your exclusives, so obviously all your games that you won't find anywhere except for on PlayStation so we'll touch the exclusives a little bit I mean because as far as like quality of games there is like just a ton of quality games that you can get for this you know if you don't like spending your money going to the store buying games all the time or you feel like you're spending way too much money on games you know for ten dollars a month just the sheer amount of games you can play on this is pretty amazing uh, but I mean, when you go in here, there are lots of lots of smaller games, third party games, games you won't know, indie games, you know, but you do have a lot of um, high quality content. So, I mean, just going a little bit beyond these, Beyond Two Souls, blockbuster game, uh, Bloodborne, um, I've not played yet. I want to download that and play it. Uh, I heard it's kind of just like Dark Souls. Um, I've watched some videos on it. It looks cool. Let's see and I think on this exclusive list too it does have 
games of older systems, you know, that were just on PlayStation. Uh, of course, your God of Wars. You got God of War, God of War 2, God of War 3 Remastered. Um, I had this on the, play, the PSP, and it, this was my first God of War game I actually ever played. God of War Chains of Olympus. Olympus game was awesome. Uh, and then the part two of that one was Ghost of Sparta. You got this God of War Ascension, which is like a little spinoff. Um, might be under the PS4 list, but I'm pretty sure the regular, the remake of God of War was on here too. Uh, Heavenly Sword, Heavy Rain, like some of these are like big blockbuster games. Um, the Hot Shots golf games are actually pretty fun. It was the closest thing on the PlayStation that was a fun golf game to me. Um, I think one of the funnest golf games, which I actually still have somewhere in my old collection, is the uh, Outlaw Golf that was on the original Xbox. The game's awesome. All right, so we got um, the Infamous games. You got Infamous, Infamous 2, Infamous uh, Festival of Blood, Infamous 2 Festival of Blood. I'm pretty sure that's just like a standalone DLC. Um, you got some of the Kill Zone games on here Kill Zone, Kill Zone 2, Kill Zone 3. Uh, Killzone Shadowfall, Shadowfall, uh, Killzone is the pretty much PlayStation's answer to Halo, um, not bad games at all, good first person shooters, uh, you got Little Big Planet 3 on here, um, Spider-Man, which I'm a little bit into Spider-Man right now, I've been playing on and off, Spider-Man's cool, let's see, Ninja Gaiden 2, um, You got Resistance, that was uh, one of their other shooters that was kind of like a a thing. Ooh, Child Colossus is on there. That was one that was remade on the PS4 that I wanted to play, and I have not yet. Okay, it is a stream. Uh, let's, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. Um, some of the Ratchet and Clank games, Ratchet and Clank. You got one, two, three. They aren't like labeled one, two, three, four, but there's like different... They got like four Ratchet and Clank games on here, some horror games. PlayStation actually has quite a few like nice horror games. Um, that's the girl from The Last of Us, but you have The Last of Us on there. And then I'm not sure what this is because that's the girl. The Last of Us Left Behind Standalone. Hmm, okay. So like an extra story chapter, that's cool. Uh... Twisted Metal, you got some of the Uncharted games on here, you got the Until Dawn, uh, I want to download that because that's one of the games that I want to try to play, and you have some Yakuza's on here, so I mean, that's just a few, just from the exclusives uh, list, um, the PlayStation 2 games are not, they're not quite as much on here, but I mean, there's still some cool games on here, so you can look, you got some Ape, Ape Escape, Art the Lad, a couple of the Dark Cloud games. Um, I'm sure some of you guys will remember some of the Destroy All Humans too. I, I actually played them on the original Xbox, but they were on the PS2 also. Uh, fun games. Um, your Hot Shot Tennis. You got a couple Harvest Moons on there. Um, I think we even added some of the Red Faction. Red Faction, Red Faction 2. Um, there was some pretty cool first person shooters, highly destructible environments. That was. Like pretty big for their time. Uh, Bounty Hunter, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, first person shooter, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, Racer Revenge. I don't remember Wild Arms 3. So there's some few on that list there. Let's see, the PlayStation 3 games. Uh, let's see, a lot of these I don't recognize. Alone in the Dark, I do. That's a pretty cool game. I guess they remade Alter Beast. That was like an original Sega Genesis game. That was pretty cool. Let's see what else we got on here that I recognize. Some shit some of you guys might recognize. I kind of skipped the PS3 generation. I had one for a short time. And then when the 360 came out, that's when my focus kind of shifted to the 360 a little bit more. And I really didn't get into a lot of the PlayStation 3 era games. Uh, you got some of the Bioshocks on there. Of course, they have the Bioshock collection now, which are remastered for like the PS4 and the Xbox, so that'd probably be a better choice, but 
you know, still, if you want to play on here, you got Bioshock, Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite. We got tons of, tons of RPG games, but, you know, hey, that's what PlayStation is good for, too. Got the original Border Borderlands, uh, Braid, that was a small indie game that became really huge. I heard it was actually really good. I have not played it. Some of the Cars games, there's some games for some kids. Uh, Brink. See a couple Castlevania games up there. Catherine, I heard some good stuff about. Have not played that yet. Dark Sector, played that one. That was pretty cool. Got some Dead Space games on there. Dead Space 3, Dead or Alive 5, Dead to Rights. Man, I remember that on the original Xbox 3. That game was sweet. Kind of like a Max Payne. Um, you got some. Devil May Cry Classics on here. Look, that looks like it's three Devil May Cry games in one. Let's see, we got some Brave, Dishonored. Do, do, do. Man, there's tons of games on here. Some Duke Nukem. Enslaved. This is one of those games that was just a straightforward story game. But it was just such a good story. And had like such good humor and stuff in it. I played it on the 360 and I absolutely love that game. It's just one of those games that everybody plays and 90% of them like, the game was stupid. And I thought it was like one of the most amazing and entertaining games ever. I mean, it was, the gameplay was simple. The levels were linear. It didn't take long at all to beat, but it just, it was so wonderfully done. Like, if, if a game has an awesome story and humor, I am in. Every time. I've played some of the games that people have said some of the shittiest games I've ever played that I thought were the most amazing. But hey, everybody's got their stuff. Got Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, which, when I talk about the uh, streaming part, I'll mention New Vegas. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's not good, folks. I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Uh, there's a bunch of the God Awards again. Golden Eggs. Yeah. There's some classics on there. Grid, Grid 2. Some good racing games. Well, let's see what we got. I'll try to get this going a little bit quicker, as I know. I don't want to make this like a 40-minute video like I did with the Xbox. Some of these are the ones that we've seen on the exclusives already, the Kill Zone, because these are all PlayStation only games. And then here's like quite a few for the kids. We got the kids, you know, Batman 2, Lego Batman 2, I'm sorry, Lego Harry Potter 1 to 4, Lego Harry Potter Years 5 to 7, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. You got Lego Indiana Jones 2, the Lego Batman video game, the first one. Lego Star Wars 3, Lego Star Wars Complete Saga. I mean, dude, for Lemmings, that's fun too. For $10 a month, that, that that's enough games right there to keep your kids busy forever. Let's see, Lost Planet, that was cool. Got a bunch of the uh, Metal Gear Solid on there. Mirror's Edge was really cool. Got the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Oh, no, there you go. A bunch of Ninja Guidance that were cool. That's the shit right there. Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath. I did not like Stranger's Math Wrath as much as the other ones. Um, but I believe that's one that they did have on Game Pass. And I seen that they were remaking. Was the uh, Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. God, I love that game. That game was fun. The Overlord games. Overlord games were fun. Do, do, do. I'm trying, just trying to scroll through these. Hopefully you guys can see these too. Um trying to get as good quality video as I can uh, unfortunately once my channel gets big enough thanks to you guys subscribing and sharing and getting other people to subscribe yeah once I get to that point I'll eventually get a good capture card and I can actually capture video where it looks like it's right on your TV instead of me video on my TV but hey this way you get the cool ass lightsaber on the left side there that I'm sure probably some of you have noticed Lightsaber lamp, $20, Target, get one. Awesome. Totally not a plug, because Target doesn't pay me. That'd be cool. I am working on my Amazon affiliates, though, sooner if I get the channel up 
big enough and run in and get some visitors on my website, I would like to uh, hook up with Amazon affiliates. That way I can review and buy some stuff. And if it's awesome, I can give you guys a link to it. And then you get cool shit. You guys help me out making some money, which goes back into the channel to bring you guys more and better content. So all good. Uh, we have a ton of Resident Evil on here. Sorry, I'm like talking while I'm like scrolling through this stuff. Uh, Resident Evil, all right, we'll touch on that real quick. I like the original old style Resident Evils and actually one of my favorites right there, Resident Evil Code Veronica is on there. Everything from four on, I just, I can't get into the new style as much as I try. Like the first three Resident Evils and then you had like Resident Evil Zero was the same way, Code Veronica, like all them older style Resident Evil games. I love I just I know they're good they're not bad games by any means I just don't find enjoyment in the newer ones some Saints Row we got a couple Saints Row on there and apparently a bunch of the Sam and Max episodes probably like some Tales the Shadow of Colossus amazing game I wish that one wasn't streamed we got a ton of Sonic there's more kid games for you looking more some stuff Sonic Adventure, Sonic 2, Sonic Generations, Sonic Remade, Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters. I have no idea what that one is. Sonic 4. Let's see if it, I want to see if it's a stream. Oh, it's a stream. You son of a bitch. Okay. Uh, Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2. Speaking of Star Wars, I just finally got my hands on a copy of, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I'm, yes, I know I'm way behind, but, you know, I got kids, two jobs, starting to kick off this channel. I'm like, I never really get anything right when it comes out and play it. I'm always really far behind. Uh, which I have to do better, because, you know, I would like to get a hold of some new games right when they come out and get some video, get some tips or just, like, some gameplay videos just to review, like, show you guys, you know, for games that are coming out that, you know, you think you might want to get. Uh, still more awesome games on here. Siberia, Siberia 2, Darkness, Darkness 2. I wonder how House of the House of the Dead was the light gun game. I wonder how that would work on here. On a controller. I might have to try that sometime. That's what they need to bring back. Light guns, controllers. Got your Last of Us on there. Some Twisted Metal, some of your Uncharted ones. We're getting towards, towards the bottom. Alright, let's go back. And that was the PS3 collection, and of course you got the PS4. Okay, so while I go through some of these PS4 games, let me talk about the benef what I think are the pluses, the benefits of the PS4 subscription service, PlayStation Now, and the pitfalls, the negative, I think, for the PlayStation Now. Um, of course, if, like, if you just want my honest opinion, if you have the PlayStation and the Xbox, um, you only want to pay for one subscription service. You don't know which one to get. Uh, there are several factors. If you enjoy a lot more PS4 games that are on this list, and you just enjoy PlayStation in general, then... You know, it might be worth it to you. If you're just looking for quality, the sheer quality of games, fun games to play, including older games like from the original Xbox and the Xbox 360 and any games, I highly suggest Game Pass. Um, and so here's why. So this is my really the, the only gripe I have found so far. And maybe this is something PlayStation can fix in the future. Uh, with the PS5 coming out though, somehow, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I hope this is something that if they plan on, I would hope that they plan on carrying this over to the PS5, because I know Xbox plans on keeping rolling with Game Pass, and it's gonna work, and they're gonna be updated graphics, and everything's gonna be awesome. They've already said that. They've already, you know, stuck their guns to it. Um, PlayStation's not touched on that subject too much yet, so I'm hope they would still keep the PlayStation Now subscription service and carry that over to the PS5. But if they do, 
the negative that I think about this service is what I'm going to tell you now is what they 100% need to fix in my opinion. And that is, all right. So we scroll through these games, even let's find one of the big ass blockbuster games. These are all PS4, tons of them. So like you, you know, you're beyond two souls, Bloodborne, like all these like high class games, Darksiders 2, Dark, uh, Darksiders Remake. These are all games that are, some of them are older, but they were made for the PS4. So even take like Fallout 4, okay? Let's select on Fallout 4 for a minute. Now, as you can see, when we select on Fallout 4, as with all PS4 games, move this a little bit, sorry. Okay, so as of with all PS4 games on the PlayStation Now service, you see my options down here. Download game, stream game, um, you can add to a list and then there's like some more options, okay? But these are your main two right here. Download game and stream game. All right, so any game you download, like I have the uh, PS4 Pro. So if I download this game right now, it's going to fully download onto the PS4 Pro, and once it's done, I can play it in the maxed out resolutions that the PS4 Pro allows me to. Ready to go. So you don't have no slowdown, you don't have no waiting, streaming. Um, this game has a, I'm pretty sure has a 4K patch for the Pro. Um, you'll be able to play it, you know, in the upgraded, you know, 4K visuals, everything, you know, whatever is available for the game. The highest that your TV and your system will allow. Okay. But. So. The Pro. Um, that the PlayStation now. Has over the Xbox. Is a sheer amount of games. I believe the catalog is something like around 800 and something games. For the PlayStation now. Where it's just a little over 100. For the Xbox Game Pass. However. If you got time to watch or play like 800 different games, then, dude, that's awesome. I don't know how you got that much time. <laughs> so, the 100 games on the Game Pass is enough for me. Now, the pitfall, though, what I just touched up on a little bit, also kind of drags the good part of the PlayStation now down to me. And that is the download and stream. Because on the PlayStation Now, out of all these hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games, 800 plus games they say, uh, only all of these ones you will select on the PS4. Now see, even God of, 3, or God of War 3, this was a PS3 game, I'm pretty sure. But this was also remade for PS4. So even this one, you'll go on, you can download or stream. So basically only games that were re-released or made on the PS4, you can download to play. It just cost four, see, same thing, download, stream. Okay. Now, the part that sucks, and with us a pretty good into the 4K, generation and even if you're not all the way into the 4k generation i'm sure 99 percent of you if not 4k still have a full 1080p high definition tv or a high definition monitor okay that you're playing this stuff on so anything that is not a ps4 game like these ps2 games or the p even the ps3 just the very last generation before this we will select on, and you will notice, see, like when we go up, said that I was going to talk about Fallout because that is one I actually played on both systems because it's on Game Pass and it's on here. So if you were to play this game, see, you do not have a download option. You can only download the PS4 games to the drive. Any other game on this list, you have to stream, okay? Now my internet where I'm at is pretty fast for what's in my area. You know, I'm running 
and I have the PlayStation 4 Pro hardwired and my internet speeds tap up around 400 gigabytes a second download and you know all the way up to like between 20 and 50 up so not not bad at all you know as far as streaming PlayStation Network PlayStation Now says for this streaming service that you only need like I think a couple gigabytes upload speed and like 10 download which to me would just be ridiculously slow but they say that's all you need so the drawback though is the streaming service for some reason on PlayStation I don't know who the hell made this decision is tapped out at 720p okay 720p now maybe if you're playing on a 720p high definition monitor or even just a smaller monitor that does 720 or 1080 it might not be as bad you know if your internet's fast and you don't have no hiccups with the streaming maybe it'll work but for the majority of people like me I'm sitting here on this 55 inch 4k TV you know and it's got all the bells and whistles it's got you know full HDR 10 Dolby Vision it's got a fold, which is a full array local dimming. Um, you know, like a 720p signal stretched out on this TV. Because when you play this on the Xbox Game Pass, or even if you have a disc from the 360, you can pop it in the Xbox One, and I have the Xbox One X. This game has a 4K upscale patch and improved colors and stuff, you know. And it looks so good. I play this thing stream on the PlayStation now. And it looked horrible. When the further stuff is in the background, it just, it was horrible. It's so bad. I don't, I don't want to sit here and make, I'm already like making a really long video. But let's see if I can, I don't know how long it'll take to like stream this thing. Start. Press the button here to while playing the game. Press the OK. Thanks, it's loading. <laughs> yeah, it says preparing your game. So even with the faster internet speeds I have, it's just, I don't know, just, you wouldn't think 720p would look that bad. It's still like high definition and stuff. But when you compare it to some of the other games and you stretch it out on like a 4K TV like this, it's just absolutely horrible. But in 2020, with everything we have, 4K and, you know, and like some people in their states and stuff even has like gigabit speeds, you know, like 1,000 gigabytes a second, like upload and download, you know. And like just the speeds and everything we have, like there should just be no reason to have a streaming service tapped out at 720p like I can understand even 1080 you know people not have let me turn on the sound here a little bit I don't know how loud it is but even having a 4k tv if it would have been streamed at a solid like 1080 60 frames a second you know like that you know well I mean PS4 probably ain't gonna do you know 60 frames a second depending on the game but you know, like Fallout 3 runs a solid 30 frames a second. But if it was 1080p, a solid 30 frames a second, it would still look so much better than that. Let's see. I don't know how good you guys would be able to see it on the video, but I'm just going to load a part up real quick because I, I only played for a minute. I don't even know if I saved it, though. But it just, like the beginning here, doesn't look bad. But once I played and I actually like got into the the town part. Okay, I did have some save, that's good. 28, 945, okay, yeah. Alright, that was the later So I'll load this up real quick and then see if you guys can actually tell from the video that I'm recording. I just, yeah, I just, I just don't understand it, you know, this long in time, you know, why we have, you know, this streaming service capped out at 720p, because there are so many good games 
on the PS2 even and the PS3 that are on this PlayStation Now service that I would love to play. But streaming it, like, honestly makes me, like, not even want to play it. I mean, I don't know if you guys can, here, let me see. I don't know if I can zoom in, okay. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but especially when you look further in the background, everything is so jaggy. I mean, just look at... I mean, look how jaggy the fence looks. Like, you can see, like, the white outlines, like, across all of them. Especially just, like, the further stuff gets... I mean, you look at this hair. I mean, it's just, that looks, I mean, on my TV, that looks just as jaggy as it's looking on the video that I'm looking at. It's just, it's horrible. I mean, you get up, like, extremely close, like, it doesn't look too bad, but that, this looks so much, so much better on the uh, Xbox One X playing. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's absolutely horrible on that absolutely horrible I don't even know I don't, I don't even know what to say about that <laughs> don't even know what to say so I mean for if you got the money though and you don't like to go out and buy games you know this is I'll wrap this up you know I mean for what the PlayStation has it's nice and there is a ton of PS4 games on there that you can download and play but if you're playing this on a huge 4K TV like me and you're, you know, used to playing some of these games and stuff, like, it, 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 trying to play a game like that and seeing how it looks streamed, max, you know, capped out at 720p, it just it looks really horrible. Like, it really, it really turns you off of playing the game for me. Um, you know, it just really does. But there's still value there in the amount of games you can play. And, you know, maybe if you're a parent and you, you have a PlayStation and not an Xbox and your kid loves to play, you know, you don't want to go out and buy them games all the time, this would probably still be a good option. You know what I mean? They might not notice as much, or they might be playing on an older TV. They might be playing on a smaller TV in their bedroom that only does 720p. So, you know, that it's, or even a smaller monitor. So that would be perfect, you know. Like, if, you, if you're playing something, if you got... A little office setup or something or you're playing like on a 32 inch tv or so or your kids are playing in a room on a 32 inch tv you might not even notice as much as this you know so maybe it'll it'll work for you but you know for me trying to play it on this big gaming setup i have it's just yeah it's so bad and like i said this is one thing um with them announcing the playstation 5 is going to have an all digital edition which oh my god it's going to be another video like can we just like stop with the all digital shit uh, I'm definitely going to touch base on that on another video, <laughs> but with an all digital system coming to like, that's got to be fixed. You know, like this next generation is supposed to be like 4k and bridging, you know, starting the whole 8k trend, you know, starting the 8k, you know, we're not going to, so don't, don't think this next generation, we're not going to be like gaming in 8k and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, they're going to have like 8k video streaming ak is years off still so all these tech people are like oh, you got to go out and get all the 8k stuff no no you don't it's going to be 4k mainstream for a long time it's not going to utilize 8k that much i can guarantee it uh but i mean for still for us being in the middle 4k generation and just starting the tip of the iceberg with 8k for them to have a streaming service capped out of 720p please 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 fix that i mean 1080 at the least you know hopefully they'd be able to find a way to like stream 4k you know if they're streaming at all really i mean it, it, to me it just fixed the whole thing by letting you download all the games i don't understand why you every game in this list you should be able to just log on and download so I hope that's hope that's something they fix in the future. But that's about it, folks. And this video wound up just about as long as the other one. So 
sorry about that but you know hey got a lot to talk about <laughs> i will try to make some short videos i know i got to get some shorter ones on my channel for you guys so you got some videos to watch that you're not just sitting there like a half hour you know but you know like i said though i appreciate if you stuck through and you're sitting there still watching this at the very end of the video man i appreciate it i really do that's awesome that's amazing um like subscribe uh and share this content as much as you can so i can grow this channel um can't wait till i make another video for you guys and like always um any questions comments anything you know leave in that comment section i got my notifications turned on hopefully i will see them if there's an option to message me or email me you can do that too i will try to respond to every single thing that i can um because this is what i do man this is what i love this is what i want to make the channel about and i want to bring you guys content that you want to see and i want to be there for you so love you guys appreciate it and i'll see you on the next one peace